Audio Jungle. The most popular way to peel tomatoes is to put them in hot water for a couple of seconds. However, there is an even faster way to do this, simply pick up a tomato on a fork and hold it over a hot burner. Make sure you hold it about 10 centimeters above the flame. Instead of using gloves while cutting hot peppers, you can use a more eco-friendly option, vegetable or olive oil. Before the process, pour a teaspoon of it on your hands and rub it in. The oil will create a thick barrier so the pepper won't damage your skin. Lettuce leaves can be used as an eco-friendly wrap. An open avocado can just be wrapped in one and can stay in the fridge for up to one week, retaining its freshness and moisture. You can still enjoy fresh apple juice even if you don't own a juicer. All you have to do is to put an apple in the freezer and leave it until it fully freezes. After this, take it out and let it melt completely. Now you can take a glass and simply squeeze it with your hand to get apple juice. Some essential oils can prevent you from crying while preparing onions. You can add clove essential oil to a bowl with warm water and put it next to your cutting board. If you have a diffuser, you can also use a few drops of citrus essential oil and place it next to the cutting board. Prepare the necessary amount of chicken breasts by adding your favorite spices and salt, then cut the breasts in half lengthwise. After this, place them on a cutting board and carefully pierce them with wooden skewers through their sides. The last step is to cut them in between the skewers and kebabs to make the meat cubes. A mixer can help to shred almost any type of cooked meat, chicken, turkey, pork, or beef. Use the mixer on a low speed for about 2 minutes, and then it's ready to be added to your favorite dish. A pizza cutter wheel turns quickly in both directions which adds a great flexibility to the process. This makes it great for easily cutting small products like green onions. Just roll it back and forth and chop as finely as you need to. Sometimes it can happen that your meat gets dry after getting grilled. To prevent this from happening you will need a simple ice cube. Put it on top of the cutlet and let it melt. Then simply flip it over and cook as usual. A simple potato can prevent meat and fish from sticking to your grill and save you time when cleaning up. Cut a potato in half and simply rub the grill lattice with it. The potato starch will create a barrier that will even help you cook delicate meat like salmon. Audio Jungle